Hey, welcome. Don't just stay there. Come with me. Come on. Let me show you this awesome studio tour here. So let's roll the intro and go. Okay, so if this is your first time here, I am the Ambitious Artist, welcome, and I am going to show you my studio tour here. It's been a while since I've done one here, so if you want to watch my other one, please click right here. That was a really nice studio tour there, but a lot has changed to make this place extremely functional. So I feel like the best part to get started with here is going to be the canvas area because that's where all the magic happens. So let me take you over here. Had to clean that up a little bit there before you seen this. <laughs> it was a little smudgy. So this here is the amazing canvas area. So this is where all the magic happens, but this would not be a studio tour without me showing you all the nitty gritty, small detail stuff that go into making all my paintings here. Now we can start off with the wonderful chair here because you need a comfy chair when you're working for hours on end and sitting sometimes standing on the bigger pieces like so, but a lot of sitting in my case. So I really like to have a super comfy chair here. It has a little back pillow, but the best part of this is this little tail thing here. Yes, my chair has a tail. It's pretty awesome, don't you think? I love it. And I have one little armrest on the side here, just so that when I'm working on my laptop here, I can have my arm rested here. But enough about the chair, let's move on to all the fun stuff. By all the fun stuff, I mean right here. Now right here is probably one of the best things in my art room and it is all of my brushes. Now I do have all my brushes right here and not all these brushes came with this set here. I did add a few throughout it like this. I pretty much use most of these brushes, but I really wanted it to be accessible when I'm painting to just grab any size brush. Now, you can't do much with the brushes unless you have some paint here. So, I have a lot of paint. I mean, a lot of paint because both of these drawers here are completely full of paint, both of them. So yes, most of this paint here is from the dollar store, but when I first started to get into painting about four or five years ago is when I kind of got back into painting. Um, so I've been consistently painting for about five years, I'd say, and I've progressed a fair amount, but I did kind of upgrade to the Michaels brand of paint. So this here is mostly all the Michaels brand of paint. Some of it is the Walmart paint. Now these here I use a fair amount. I use a lot. They're liquid acrylic inks and I mix it with my white and my blacks just to kind of create more of a diluted consistency of paint just so it's easier to do nice brush strokes. So feel free and try that out. I highly recommend it. Now that leads us to the other few drawers here which is actually a look at more paint where I kind of put my paint palette in and I have it so that I can access it when I need it. As I'm painting, I like to tuck it away here so I can stand in front of my easel and then just paint. It does sometimes get annoying to open and close the drawer, but all in all, I think it works pretty good and it's a nice way to keep things nice and neat. So this is all the fun stuff, garbage cans and whatnot. So can't go wrong with your best friend, paper towel, and I use that for almost everything. Definitely comes in handy. So in this drawer, it is literally just a whole bunch of palettes that are not washed because I am way too lazy to wash them. Some more big things of paint. Like I said, I have lots of paint. And we got the Mod Podge, which I used in my most recent video. If you have not seen that yet, I will link it up here, as well as I will show it to you in a few minutes over here with all my other mannequin pieces. I have a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here. It's kind of maybe more of a junk drawer and things that I might use once in a while. And this drawer here is also full of miscellaneous stuff, like a glue gun and a whole bunch of popsicle sticks. So yeah, that's just kind of a mess as well. Those two bottom drawers are just things that I need, but I don't want to be having laying around. So what do you think? 
Maybe I have good lighting because I can show you that as well. So let's get off the ground here. Oh, take you up over here and start showing you some of my light boxes here. So I do have one big light box right here and I have another one over right here. So yeah, I got both of those from Amazon. I do have videos that I did setting both of those up. But what I think is really cool is the stands that I got for them. So this stand that I got for them is really nice. Just for this one here is actually from a big boom stand for a microphone that I used before when I did TikTok and whatnot. And it uh, goes right up there. I also have this light here, which is more of an orange light because you got the white light, the orange light, and like kind of all the daylight in here. And all together it creates a really nice light source, I feel like. Ah, so yes, just to state the obvious, there is a wonderful bed here because I also like to use this room as a guest room sometimes. So this bed here kind of just stays here because we tend to have guests over a fair amount and it works out really well if you ever need some extra space. So I like to decorate it with a little stitch stuffed animal. But hey, let's pretend that's not there because it's kind of an eyesore, right? But hey, what's not an eyesore are these wonderful mannequins that I have here. So I do leave these mannequins that I have been working on. I have a few of them already, so, so I'm hoping to make a few more. But yes, if you haven't seen any of these videos, I'm just gonna be linking them all over. What can I say? This is like a video just to promote myself, isn't it? So. Yeah, I didn't do a video of this one. This one was awesome, the big tree one, and I uh, I liked it. I do have, I think, about, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 more mannequins I have. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of mannequin painting. And here I love to keep two glasses of water at all times when I am painting. The reason being is because I feel like that it is always good to have your dark colors in one and then put your light colors in the other, or vice versa. So this I use for all my lights, and this here I use to put my darks in. So yes, I did clean them out for this video, because I'm sure you don't want to see a messy studio, even though it's not 100% perfectly clean. But you know, I think that uh, it's, it's turned out good. Okay, so let's carry on. Now I think that we're gonna move on to my workstation right here, and this is where not quite all the magic happens, but it wouldn't be magical without this area. So yeah, definitely in this area does a lot of the work. I mean, hey, you guys wouldn't be watching this if it wasn't for this area. So it's just a laptop. I like it. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad and it works great. It's pretty powerful for everything that I need it for. And what I use to edit all these videos is Premiere Pro. Now alongside my workstation here is some books. Now hey, I do not read much, but these books here, guess what? I would read them anytime. Because these here are not books at all. They are actually hollow books. Now what I like about hollow books is that you can fit all of your other brushes in it. So I do have multiple books here that they all have brushes in them. Like so, they all work really well and they're all hollow with brushes, except for this one here, which is Erectus Journal. And this book here is really fun. I haven't completely destroyed it yet, but it is a work in progress. So yeah, who knows? I might uh, try it to work on this a little bit more and maybe I'll film a video out of it. I personally prefer using Audible. Now, guess what? This is not sponsored, but if it was, it would be definitely sponsored, probably by Audible. But hey, who knows? Maybe one day. Now, I'm unsure with what else you wanna see here. Hey, look at another mannequin. Oh my God. Yeah, that's right, there's another one here. <laughs> I also have a few more laying around my house that I've painted on. So we're gonna start on this shelf right up here. Now it's hard to maneuver between everything, but I got to show you this awesome thing. It is a really cool dragon that holds incense inside. See, Ooh. so let's light this. 
Yes, it's another hollow book. So now what I do is just kind of put it up right on over here and let it burn away. Now here I do have some roses as well as, this is my old art name, which was Dear Founder. I did a little gallery for that. I did some wood burning. And this here is also from another art show that I was part of as well. And it was really cool. Now wait, this here is absolutely amazing. Now this, when it was cut, it created this awesome design, which happens to be my signature, which I thought was absolutely incredible so yes it is a paw print with uh only three dots which is my signature so yeah and that was awesome and i still can't believe that it was created naturally so i happen to have had this tattooed on me prior to even having that there so i thought that was really really cool and it matches perfectly pretty much i really like this area which is all my collectible protein shaking mugs, whatever you want to call them, and I uh, collect them. Okay, so this area up here above this nice awesome light is this cool little mannequin thing that I made. And yes, there's videos of this. This is actually my top rated video so far. I think it has almost 800 views, which to me is a lot. Uh, unfortunately, not too many of you have subscribed, so please, Subscribe, like this video if you can, and I will carry on with showing you my amazing art wall and then we'll wrap this video up. But wait, before I show you this wall, I guess I should show you all what's under here. Mostly just miscellaneous stuff, things that I don't use often, like spray paint. I uh, got tons of spray paint here, actually quite a few cans. So I used to do a lot of spray paint art, but now I just like to flip them around constantly and it is a lot of fun because hey who doesn't like to juggle right so yeah spray paint can't go wrong with that now there's not much to show under here but i do have a few really cool things that i think i would love some pointers on if i should be making a video out of it or not so one of them is this awesome box here i'm thinking about making a really really cool prashad box so It'd be kind of a travel box that I could carry on a whole bunch of paint stuff where I can do some plein air paintings when I'm out and about. I don't do too much scenery paintings. I would really like to get into it. And now here I have a whole bunch of little mini canvases that I've done little paintings on. I'll just quickly show you through them here. Now you may be asking yourself, why is it that they have a whole bunch of numbers on? Now, the reason why that is, is because I use them for the table numbers for a wedding. And it was a really cool, unique thing to have part of the wedding. So I think that we're pretty much done here. And feel free and let me know down in the comments, which one is your favorite? I actually have about two or three favorites, but this one is by far one of them. I really enjoy painting those, but painting little mini canvases, is definitely challenging. Now I have so many paintings that I have to pretty much put them everywhere I can find an area for them without putting too many on the walls and making myself feel overwhelmed. But over here is something really cool. This here, I have not finished, but I'm hoping one day I will. And this here is a big little model scale of what I'm hoping to be my dream home. I have filmed all this up to this point here. So it took quite some time to do and the video may be fairly long. Unlike this one, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping it's gonna be shorter. But yes, I will be finishing this one day. Now, there's not too much of a point of me going in to detail with all this because it's literally just stuff all in boxes that I don't really use anymore. But I am hoping to do a video one day using this. <laughs> This is a big box of crayons and I actually have a cool Crayola melting kit. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with this one day. 
And that video will be coming up shortly after a few other ones, I hope. So hey, let's get off this ground again. Now this wall here is probably one of the main features of my art room. And yes, those lights are awesome. I know, they're really cool. This wall here has all of my artwork on. Not all of it, but most of my favorite pieces. Now please, everyone that is watching this video here, if you're gonna take anything away from this, is to create a space that you feel inspired to do art in, to be creative, to just express yourself, because I feel like that everyone deserves a room and an area that they can truly call their own. And even if you have to kind of make it in a guest room or somewhere in a little corner closet, I've had my art spaces in some weird little tiny nooks in corners of a house that I have been in. So I am lucky enough to have this area, but guess what? This isn't gonna be the last tour because I do plan on expanding this space in my new home eventually, or even creating a different layout here. And hey, please, check out all my social media right here because I do upload as much as I can on TikTok, Snapchat, and my Instagram because I love to keep you all informed on the fun, creative, ambitious art projects that I am working on. Now please comment down below on what your favorite part is and if this video inspired you. And also subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything when I do upload my new videos here. Okay, now that wraps this video up. But hey, if you're gonna miss me, feel free and watch my videos here, as well as click there, okay? Till next time, remember, everyone, stay ambitious. All right, see you later.